God has given you something special that nobody else has. God has given you a special, unique purpose, assignment, and calling that is specifically tailored to you because of your personality and your past struggles, because of your gifts and the talents that God has placed inside of you. Not everyone is going to understand your purpose or your assignment because it is from God for you. In the story of John the Baptist, we had the Pharisees and the Levites, which were God's special, you know, chosen priest at that time, come to John the Baptist and they ask him, who are you? Are you the Christ? Are you the Elijah? Or who are you? And John the Baptist denies that he's the Christ or Elijah. He says, I'm just the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. So God has anointed you in a specific environment. He has positioned you in a specific job or has given you specific skills, gifts, talents that are tailored to you. And God wants you to throw your personality that he's given you in there too. And when you mix these things together, it creates your very own unique, special assignment, purpose, and calling that no one else has but you. So you don't need to be like anyone else. You don't need to be like the pastor on the platform or your pastor in your local church or the one who disciples you or one that you look up to. You don't need to be like anyone else because God has given you something special. Other Christians may not understand it. People around you who go to church with you may not understand it because it is the anointing that God has placed on your life. And you may look a little bit crazy operating in that anointing. This is what happened to John the Baptist because he was called into the wilderness. Into the wilderness clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He lived a different lifestyle. This was the calling upon his life. So just because you're in a business environment doesn't mean you got to be like them and fall in love with the world like them. You can thrive in a business environment and stand out and be different. Have the joy of the Lord upon you. Speak with the speech that God has given you. He may have given you kind of a gangster talk, right? As long as it's as long as it's holy and it's consecrated, right? It's set apart from the language of the world. Operate in that. Speak and move in that. God may have placed you in New York City in a in a fashion mall, and you're called to operate in that anointing in that environment. Be you in the place, in the space, in the environment that God has placed you in. Use your gifts for His glory, but just know that God has given you something very special and unique, and you may have not discovered it yet, or you may be in the process of discovering it, but just know that you don't have to try and be like anyone else. Just be you because no one can compete with you in the anointing the Holy Spirit has given you. And, and God may just be developing it. He may just be building it up because you may see the 10 year or the 15 year. Just make sure that you continue to serve God faithfully like David because you may be anointed for the palace but you still have 15 years in the pasture as you go through your process, but never let go of the unique, special things that God has placed in your heart. Serve Him faithfully. Find your identity, not in your gifts or your talents or your skills or your location, but find your identity in being a child of God. When you can do this, you will become a powerful vessel for the kingdom of God. I pray that this video blessed you. And if it did, 
share it with someone else. God bless you, my friend. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.